Hi, I'm Russ Faxon. I'm a sculptor here in Bell Buckle, and I've been here for about 40 years now. And I arrived when Bell Buckle was not really on the map yet. And so I was fortunate enough to find a building here, and I knew that this is where I wanted to be because of all the nice people, the beautiful lifestyle, and it uh, suits me just fine. So I've been doing sculptures. I do figurative bronze sculpture. Uh, and I do everything from small maquettes, small scale models, to life size and above life size bronze figures for corporations, for the government, private collections, and of course for myself. And I'm just starting to work on a, a sculpture that uh, whenever I begin, I always start off with a drawing. And this is a drawing that I've created of this figure right here that I'm developing. And she is uh, in the beginning stages. And how I create this is I take my drawing and I scale it up and then I put a steel armature on the inside of it. And then I start modeling with clay and this is oil based clay which means it doesn't dry out and I keep on modeling until it comes to a completion and I'm working on a, a commission right now that shows you instead of my stylized pieces this is one that is a realistic piece for a client and it shows her in a finished form uh, in the clay and then I will make a rubber mold of that, send it to the foundry, and they will make a wax duplicate, and then uh, make a mold of the wax, burn that wax out of the mold, and then pour bronze into it. It's called the lost wax casting process. And all of my works are done in that method. And uh, so I go from an initial concept to a completed clay all the way to the finished bronze. And so we are sort of halfway in between at this time. Okay, so here we are in the gallery. And this is the gallery that I built when uh, I first moved here so I could show people uh, the different types of work uh, that I have that is not in the studio. So these are some of my finished works. And uh, my work is rather eclectic, and uh, so I try to develop my pieces from my emotions and uh, what I want to share and be able to express. And sometimes I feel differently than I do at other times. And so I have one piece here. It's a stylized figure called Dancing in the Spirit. And it's very sleek, and it shows a lot of movement and, and energy. Uh, versus another piece that I have back here, which is called the Big Squeeze. And on the inside, here's a figure, and you have these forces coming on either side of it. And sometimes, especially, say, these days, we kind of have that sense of being in a big squeeze from a lot of different, different forces. And then uh, this is a piece that's a, a commissioned work for a private client that I'm doing on. And this is uh, the finished uh, maquette bronze, uh, and it will be enlarged to a, a life-size scale. And then this figure back here was developed for a client, and they wanted something very light and airy uh, pertaining to you know, young people. And so I developed this girl uh, called Summer Song, and it's sort of like she's just uh, enjoying the springtime with her, with her summer hat, and she just feels very pretty. And then some of these other works are, are commissioned pieces, a portrait for a client. This is Governor Ned McWhorter, the, the maquette, and I created him uh, as a seven-foot figure that's in Dresden, Tennessee. And then up on my wall over here, 
are some maquettes of, of sculptures that I've, I've done and photos of some of my commission work uh, as well. Uh, so I can show those to uh, visitors as they come in. And as we go around, uh, this was a piece developed for the summertime. And this is uh, called the hammock. And I have this as a, a mother is trying to take a nap and her little boy is trying to wake her up so that he can come out and play. So that was a fun piece. I had to practice that a lot. You know, you go out into the hammock and you have to get the feel for the hammock. And you come back in and you walk, work a little while, and then you, I lost the feel. And I'd have to go back out to the hammock, you know, and get the feel again. So uh, it took a long time to finish this piece. <laughs> So here are some more figures, or some more pieces of completed uh, works that I've done. And, uh, and talking about my different styles, here's another piece called my, uh, in my Tree People series. And this is called Eli Eli. And then uh, this piece right below it is called The Sun. So I have a lot of different ways that I like to express myself. And this is a portrait of a, a young woman that I did. And uh, these are some other portraits. I worked uh, in a factory once. And uh, uh, this was kind of a, a piece that I did from that experience. And then going back to some of my stylized works, this is called uh, Continuum. And uh, this was originally developed for uh, the Cookville General Hospital. And it's a life-size, full-size figure that uh, was over a fountain. And then another uh, piece over here, Maquette, this was a uh, uh, composition that I de developed for the Cracker Barrel Corporation. And these life-size figures are uh, uh, located at their corporate headquarters in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. And then this is one of my favorite pieces called the signing. And whenever artists create, we start off with a, uh, a very tight idea of what we want to do. And so her garment uh, in her upper body and her torso is very tight. But as that idea begins to develop, it begins to flow and move and, and develop its, its grace. And then as we begin to finish the piece, it, it comes to a conclusion like a, uh, uh, like a scroll, uh, a scribe with their, you know, their, their writing. And so we always sign the piece at the end. And so the... Uh, the process continues and you see the, the quill pen as it's facing back towards her. It is a continuum that continues the process for the, for the next developed idea and it goes through that same sort of, of uh, creative process. And then here, uh, here's another uh, one of my tree people uh, called uh, Willow, and uh, it kind of gives a sense of, of sadness and, and grief. And uh, behind here, I mean, <clears throat> we're such deep thinkers. This is called contemplating thumb. And so artists sometimes get to the point where we feel like all we're doing is thinking about our thumb. And... <laughs> That's as deep as we can go. So we have a realistic thumb with the little boy looking at, at the thumb. And as you turn the piece around, as we are contemplating, the thumb turns into a stylized thumb, which gives it a lot of movement 
and, and energy. So that, that's just a fun piece. So everything doesn't have to wind up being serious. And this is what I do. This is what I enjoy. And uh, it's the life that all of us have an opportunity to choose. And I choose sculpture and being creative. Thank you for having me.